James chapter one, verse two and three. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know the testing of your faith produces perseverance. The scripture says, when, not if, you face trials. So you have to remember that trials will happen. Let's not act brand new, okay? <laughs> if you're wondering where God is, you just proved your expectations are flawed. God is there. There's various kinds of trials, right? It says when you experience all kinds, many kinds, not one or two, and there's different types, and sometimes they happen at the same time. But trials produce a steadfastness, a maturity, so we can't even have maturity without trials. So if we whine and complain and we quit, guess what? We won't mature. When relationships get hard and we quit, when church gets hard and we quit, when jobs or circumstances get hard and we quit, we won't mature. See, we won't have steadfastness if we have no maturity. You can't grow muscles without the gym. If you wanna be like Jesus, then trust me, you want trials. They're a test, and tests are hard, but encouraging, especially if you pass. See, if you fail, of course you hate it. But if you pass, there's a thrill that you get to enjoy. We all love the idea of being prepared and getting better and getting skilled at something. And sometimes that takes long. It takes longer for some than others. But as long as you stand firm, you'll pass. Are we enduring the test? Are we enduring a trial? It's okay, because at the end of the day, God is working on our steadfastness and our maturity. Keep going.